just like get tagged by one because you're trying to like move out of your shield and I catch you jumping or something. Or I whittle down your shield enough that like I poke it down and then you get hit. Or maybe I mix yeah. in a grab. Like it's just like it's so hard to like actually like punish her for something that she does that I feel like I guess a character like Mewtwo, regardless of if he has the experience or not, it probably won't matter too much. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see what Tim can do about just like the game plan of ZSS. I feel like ZSS can kind of just stick to the game plan. Um, and Tim is going to have to be the one that overcomes here. Um, doing a decent job of that so far, putting on some great damage, avoiding the conversion on platform. Doorstop finds one regardless, thinks about chasing. Flip kicks back to stage, keeps the pressure going. Unrelenting, the Zare as well. Down smash would have been a hot end to that stock. But Tim Prater is still clinging here. Okay, and Doorstop just absolutely, with an insane string sequence of pressure. Oh in this advantage state, making it so difficult for Tim to really get anything started. But Tim has been able to at least find a hit here and there to make the percents at least seem even. But that up smash is going to be an extremely popular option for Doorstop to find these KOs because Mewtwo's light. Nice. Down throw in the fair, immediately going to even it back up for Tim Prater. That was one of those first stocks, first stocks for Doorstop nice. where it felt like he was on top of things the whole time. But Tim oh. Prater kept himself right there and he's continuing to do so, 63%. Give himself a lead. Yeah, and amazing option coverage from Tim Prater as well, covering like immediate tech, delayed tech, tech to the side, and just continuing to rack on these hits. Even if the combo doesn't continue, he's still getting extra damage, and that difference matters. The gentleman actually crosses through what? That elbow lean on that third hit, I'm telling uh, you. Yeah, that ZSS crouch is probably going to be a factor here as well. Getting under that shadow ball, maybe even some of Mewtwo's aerials. Uh, we already see Doorstop using that quite a bit. As Tim Prater bows for stage control and gets a little bit of it. Forward smash is going to put him back in there, but Doorstop is holding in. He's playing aggressive. Yeah, it's very interesting because this does feel like a very back and forth matchup thus far, where when one oh. player manages to get the advantage, they seem to push it extremely far, and then it's kind of like they're taking turns getting beat up. And so this time around, Doorstop yet again manages to get the stock first, but I want to see, can Tim keep hanging with the punches back, though? And the answer is yes. Certainly he can. Certainly he can. And now it's just going to be an issue of can Tim skip door Doorstop's turn? Yes. Because right now it has just been back and forth. Tim is going to have to try and overcome that trend that's been happening so far. This is a good chance to do so. Landing fair into a grab. Fourth throw puts him on the nice platform. Try. He's been going for those setups. Haven't found any yet on stream. Oh, and that's going to hurt. And goes oh. to the boost kick. And that's not going to be enough. Great DI coming out from Tim as well to make sure that you survive that one. But it does mean that back air and up smash are now extremely scary options that you're going to have to be playing around. And it looks like for Tim, he don't care. He going in. A great setup there for Doorstop, but Tim still finds himself very much within this game, 137%. Not quite at that percentage where ZSS is going to get stray, stray hit kills. And now Tim holding in the corner, full Shadow Ball, that's threatening. He's there into F-Tilt, that's all Doorstop can muster. Wow. And the angled F-Tilt is going to get the kill in the corner. Mewtwo very easy to two frame. Yeah, I'm wondering kind of what happened there on that one, because I... As far as I recall, most characters with teleport recovery, oh, he was a little bit too low. He was a little bit too low. Because if you teleport from above the ledge and you go into it, you can't get two frame. Palutena has that, and YouTube has that. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. dang, we just didn't hit it quite. It, it looked like his head was just like, he was too aligned on the horizontal plane, it looks yeah, like we'll here. Yeah, see right here. Yeah, ah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. like. About as close as it gets, right? He pretty much went to, like straight, straight forward. forward. Yeah, and he needed to be a little bit higher, and I don't think he would have been able to get two frame there. Yeah, I think you are probably right. Um, as you see, that <laughs> angle and that timing was just perfect. Thank you, production, for giving us a great view of that. Shout out to Hustle 3 of course. Of course. Uh, oh, yeah, Devin 3 Giving us the view of the game keys. that we get. Ain't no one do it like Devin, except maybe Alicia. Keys? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, back to it. Game two. Tim Prater um, hung in there, to say the very yes. least. Last hit scenario. The setup on platform works out in Tim's favor this time. I'm hoping the rhythm of this game is a little bit different, though, because I think for Tim, being able to skip that turn, as you were saying it earlier, really is the difference, right? Because how long can you keep up? There's something about someone always taking the stock first that can kind of gut punch you a little bit, make you winded, and then you suddenly lose your ability to punch back. But the moment you're able to get it first, yeah. suddenly it's a completely different game. We've seen the first stock take be such a, such a crucial thing on stream so far today. We've seen a lot of first stock takes just snowball and snowball and snowball. Um, and Tim Prater looking to be the one that takes the first in this game. 
Holding doorstop in the corner, gets a couple nice hits. 99% onto oh. the Kaladin. All right, tries to read a jump out of his son there. That would have been the stock for certain, but good job on Tim not jumping there. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> we out here. Roll, roll, roll. Look like a milk tank. Oh, flip, flip kick on a platform. I love the option there from doorstop. Doesn't connect though. Chases him down in the back air off a platform. Great kill option there for Tim Prater as he finds himself with a lead. All right, and this is exactly what we were hoping and looking for for Tim. Has the lead first. Now it's a manner of how well does Doorstop punch back, right? We haven't seen this scenario yet. Can Tim just get a massive lead and actually extend it super far? Or will Doorstop say, no, I can counter punch equally as well, and it looks like that is going to be the case. Your call keeps getting answered here. <laughs> keeps happening just like that. And now into the up smash for Tim or for Doorstop rather. Puts on damage, tries to give tries to wrestle back the lead. Tim Prater's doing a good job playing evasive. He's just kind of playing just outside of that ZSS threat range. Okay, wow, nice patience. It's not gonna be enough, but that is yeah. some great damage on the side of Doorstop there. We can see Tim Prater going for a wall jump back here to maybe try to catch an aggressive option from Doorstop, but Doorstop is not answering the door. Nobody <gasps> is home. Oh man, not answering the door indeed. That forward air and not answered by a tech. Tim Prater catches him off guard. And uh, maybe a bit of a cheesy stock, but a stock take nonetheless. Ain't no way it just happened like that. Doorstop was doing so well. Then suddenly the tide has turned. And it looked like Tim getting double nares here, trying to go for three. Couldn't quite space it to catch that roll in. But despite that, I mean, in a very great spot here. We've never seen a kind of instantaneous turn like that in the flow of the set so far. And I think it might potentially be the difference in the way that this set goes overall. Yeah, Tim Prater's feeling himself right oh. now. Right, these setups that he's going for are hot. That side B not quite going to do it. He stays alive, wrestles his way to the other side of the stage. <laughs> Down smash that ledge is going to do it. Good stock there for Doorstop. Okay, now can Doorstop answer back here? Because definitely was playing from behind and now has to do so much more work here. But if you're Tim, I mean, you still haven't gotten a game win, right? So this forward air is exactly what you were looking for. And now we have ourselves a tied set count of 1-1 one, one across the board. Tim Prater able to sneak that game too, but we do have to draw attention to the way that second stock of doorstop got snatched. Yeah, yeah, that's one where um, Tim might not feel the best about the way he took that. You know yeah. I mean? That might not feel like the most. And here it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the type of thing where you take that stock and you win a game like that, it's like, eh, like, cool, we take those. But I can't believe that missed. That's yeah, insane. <laughs> that's, that is that's insane. That's definitely why he wasn't ready for yeah. the tag. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a ZSS moment. Oh, let me give you the freshest haircut you ever seen, bro. This uh, fade is the cleanest fade you'll ever catch in Indianapolis. That's that's the Mewtwo hourglass figure. Yeah, no, that's for real. That's the only reason that I yeah, You see how thin that neck on Mewtwo is? Yeah, yeah. It's that, like, that, like, like next, next tight waist, that back went right Ooh, in that area. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, that's not right. That's not right. But you know what? For having such a big tail, I'll allow Mewtwo to have that one. Yeah, yeah, likewise. That's 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 the one time that Mewtwo's he Herbox it. comes in his favor and isn't like exclusively unhelpful for him. Wow. That's wild. And she's wearing heels too. That's the crazy part. She's wearing heels. It wasn't enough. The added little extra yeah, the stilettos. bit wasn't enough. That's but like stompers. Now that we're hopping into this game three, it looks like doorstop shows no sign of stopping as we are going ahead and tacking on all this extra damage on the Tim Prater. Tim trying to answer back and is doing a decent job, but is in that case. Oh, Ooh, goodbye. Oh, there we go. We finally got that. Tim's been going for those setups all day. That's the difference. Fight that one. That's the difference. I mean, granted, doorstop answers back really quick, but Tim has been able to consistently be in a position where it looks like he's behind and being able to get those reversals to put himself in a favorable position. And it got him a game in that last one. And if he keeps being able to find plays like that, like that was another opportunity, Tim Prater might come out on top. Yikes, Tim is swinging right now. He's feeling himself down to an affair. Doorstop cannot be feeling comfortable off stage. Tim has just like narrowly skinned by on a few whiffs here take some immaculate stops. Okay. Board air from doorstop, forcing Tim to the corner. Tim teleports in the center stage and maintains stage control. Doorstop needs to get it back here, but it's okay. ZSS has a relatively easy time of doing that. That down smash safe on shield, like why did they let that happen? <laughs> why did they have to be that way? Yeah, that high angle on the upbeat. We've nice. seen Tim Prater utilize that so effectively. Chase with the shadow ball, the wall jump to pressure doorstop. Doesn't, doesn't work out though. Okay. 
Oh, what's the answer going to be here? Oh, gets a knockdown, but actually thinks maybe it's going to send down to the platform there. Doorstop not ready to follow up. But here we go, an opportunity for setup for maybe a back air. And he's going to recover a little, but gets caught uh, by the Paralyzer. Whoa. But hey, hey, in that direction? Question mark? Yeah. Has to be a snapback issue or something on a controller, bro. I'm death tight for Doorstop on that one. Yeah, not sure what that was about, but this is a spot I was about to call attention to the fact that Mewtwo low-key has more kill power here than Doorstop does. Um, and that's a perfect example as to why you have to be so precise if you want to find these stocks as ESS. And that side B is going to allow for just that. Yeah, that plasma whip, a little hot, right? Looks like Mewtwo got burnt quite a little bit there. And when you are burned in Pokemon, mm -hmm. you do deal significantly less physical damage. So that's true. This is going to be a tough one. Going to have to rely on that Shadow Ball a little bit more, I guess. 136, that Falling Fair almost did it for Tim Prater. And that doorstop finding the first opening is a scary sight for a Tim Prater fan. Hey, let's see. Border at a disadvantage. Sometimes you just gotta let it rip. And rip <laughs> Tim Prater did. Yeah, that was that was a great fair. He uh was finding a few out of disadvantage earlier and that one was placed perfectly. But speaking of precision right now, Doorstop is pushing forward so effectively. Nice nice jab on the platform. Maybe set up for a jab lock, but Tim Raider avoids down smash into whatever you please. Doorstop getting creative. Yeah, I was honestly thinking we might see a Nair set up there, but instead goes for the up air and doesn't really lead to too much. But now Tim's swinging back, and Tim has been doing such a great job of swinging back all game. I know Doorstop is trying to be a little bit careful here. Here we go, opportunity to maybe potentially get the stock here, using that flip kick to retreat to the platform, the cross up on the Nair, Midas Shield poke there, oh, and no tech on that as well. Hold on, an opportunity for Tim to go ahead and close one out. Wait a minute, what a sequence, Woo! Tim chasing all the way across the stage, and the pressure Oh no, what are you doing? Oh. That's your punish though? What the heck, man? Are you trying to win? Oh, they could not find a, a strong option, but the flip kick just consistent, strong, sends Tim Prater to the other side of the stage. And uh, a scrappy situation, Tim Prater after that up smash, probably deserved to uh, get caught with something. Else. Oh my god, that was, Tim Prater's up smash was buns, but that punish from doorstop was even more buns. <laughs> like, w w what is this? It's a buns battle. What is this? Hot dog eating contest. For real, glizzies for days. Oh, the boost kick did it though. Like, Doorstop had so many options. Right? <laughs> Could have been an up smash, down smash, boost kick, something. Anything. Yeah, yeah. Just run up, grab. Wow. I get it though, you know, like, oh, heat of the moment, your opponent does something laggy. You just want to make sure you get any punish. You don't want to You don't want to take a risk on something. You know, what it might, might be connect. is like, uh, the hitbox on Mewtwo's up smash is like, deceptively kind of like active, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want to like run into it and get hit, especially if you wanted to go for like a boost kick. Maybe you get caught by the lingering hitbox on the end and then you feel tight about it. Yeah, ZSS is tall too, yeah. so they get caught by something up top. I definitely see that where Tip Raiders open up hot here. Just came in swinging right away and it's working out for him. All right. This is game number four here, right? Tim has to win here if he wants to stay active in this bracket. And so far, Doorstop really putting on the pressure. Trying to make his way back. These two frames have just kept catching Tim Prater over and over. That looked like get-up attack still got beat out by that down smash. Ooh, tries to go for down throw forward air, but looks like the DI on the down throw is good enough from Doorstop on that one to avoid that sequence. Oh, tries to get a setup. I love the idea for Tim Prater. Trying to catch the platform land, but Doorstop's wise to that. Ooh. Keeps himself safe. F tilt. A lot of damage. Good stage position here for, uh, for nice. Tim Prater. And he uses the stage position accordingly. Nice F tilt. Yeah, definitely losing some of the, the larger hitboxes of Mewtwo with the, you know, just the added range, right? Use that tail to your advantage. Spacing out in situations like that. But Doorstop still has the pressure added on. We have an opportunity here from Tim to get something going. And so far, it's actually working here. Was able to more or less tie up the damage count here because one more exchange will be all he needs to really bring things back to even. Yeah, at this point, it's less about uh, percentage and it's more about kill potential. Yes. And these characters have are pretty evenly matched at these percents in that regard. Up smash on the platform. Tim Prater whiffs, but the back air for doorstop punishes very Whoa. well. Oh. Tim Prater gets over it, drag down into an up smash. That's a great confirm. All right, but we answer right back. Yo, you said, who is it? It's me, bro. It's me, bro. Don't worry about it. You don't even got to check the people. <laughs> you know who's at the door. Let me in. It's your boy. Oh, yeah. These these stock trades have been so consistent for both players so far in the set. Neither one has Ooh. really been able to pull out to a lead. Tim Prater looks to do just that off stage. I love these down tilt extensions. Yeah, Tim Prater is like, nah, I'm bringing this to game five. Doorstop's like, nah, I'm not going to let it happen. But whose will is stronger? 
Tim wants it, man. He's pushing forward <laughs> really so do. strong. That corner pressure uh -oh. onto the platform. Uh -oh. This could be it. This doorstop finish the boost kick. No DI is going to save you there. In the time it matters most, doorstop sends us home. Yeah, now nah, there he was like all the way up in there. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. lot of times it's like, all right, if I'm able to just get hit by the last of the boost kick and I hold down, I'll be able to get to the blast zone just fine. But uh -huh. at that point, it's like, bro, you got like carried on the up and up and up. Like, my boy was in there, in there. You know what I mean? Like I know exactly had the backstage mean. pass, like was sniffing Beyonce <laughs> sweat in there. You know VIP what I mean? Looking like yeah, Usher at the yeah, halftime yeah. show on Alicia Keys, yeah. bro. That was. He was oh in my, there. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Usher, Usher was all the way in there. For real. But Usher might have been more in there than Tim Prater was. <laughs> Usher, Usher was all the way. He was moving for sure. He was moving. Well, good halftime show, though. Yeah, but yeah for real. The, yeah, no. The, the roller skates section? The roller skates was, so, was so crazy. Fire. And especially when it got to the point, because, you know, like, Usher, I feel like, and, you know, as someone who is in their 30s, ah, uh, yeah. definitely spoke to me more than probably a people who are a little bit younger. But the moment he hit it with the, like, it's hard for me to say this, but it's coming from my heart. I was like, oh, <laughs> we about to let it burn? We about to let it burn? I'm like, okay, I should. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was tight. That was tight. Oh, did, yeah. you see, did you see the girl that fell off the stage on the rollerblades? No. <laughs> that was a girl. What? Straight up. It was real. She lied on her resume about, like, her, her agent said, like, yeah, when you're applying for jobs, just say you're good at everything and you can learn it before, right? You can learn it if you get casted. And then she did, but it was late. Someone else dropped out, so she had to learn how to rollerblade in two days. Ah. Right? So if you, if you watch that Super Bowl halftime show real close, you, you can see somebody just eat it off the back of the, no off the, back of the stage. No <laughs> shot! Yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow.